Hello and welcome back to New Week, a new game. And this is where I play a game. Just any game now, I'm not even going to say Steam Library. It can be from anywhere, but it's a game that I have never played before. This game here is Backpack Hero. I have seen people play this on YouTube. It's roguelike. You have a backpack that you can only hold so many items in. Uh, you can get backpack enhancements and stuff like that, but it looked like a really fun game. So I was excited to see it as part of one of the bundles that I got. And now finally getting around to playing it. I say finally like it's been in my library for years on end. It hasn't. I'm getting to the point where it's like any games that I purchase are getting bundles. Now I just add to a folder to play for New Week, a new game. And then once I play it here on New Week, new game, I will continue to play the game as well. I will sometimes record me playing the game and maybe it'll get released later at another point. I mean, if the, the video gets really popular, then generally, yeah, I will do that. Uh, if not, it's just something fun for me to play on the sites and uh, still have recordings for backup just in case I decide to do a video series. So there you go, a little background on how I decide to do things. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the game. Uh, let's see, Please, my controller. It won't let me. A store mode. New game, I can't even use my mouse. No, I think it won't let me use the mouse because I like clicked over. And thus you discovered a mysterious relic. I missed the first part because I was too busy worrying about my mouse. Oh, now it's telling me I can use my controller. Hold Y. Okay, apparently I can't. I'm holding Y. It's not letting me. Do this. And I'm just gonna click on it this way. See if it registered. It does anything? No. All right. I can't. I can't hold Y unless you want me to hold the Y key. There you go. Let's switch to mouse. Just click that. There we go. All right. We figured it out. How about that? I'm, I'm keeping that all in, by the way. Show map. You can move here. A chest of valuables. It's like we gotta stop all the way along. Chest of valuables. Add all items to your backpack and to continue while holding an item to rotate it. So if I wanted to rotate it and like put it that way, I could do that. Uh, rough buckler, which is a shield. So do that. And a meal. Put it right there. There's two uses, because it's two energy. Once out of uses, it gets destroyed. A rough buckler gives us seven block, and our wooden shield deals seven damage. Finish. Let's move on. Going here to enemies. Combat. In combat, you click items to use them. You must defeat all enemies to continue. Many items, including your sword and shield, require energy. Once you are out of energy, you should end your turn. Then the enemy will act. There. Uh, let's see. Looks like they will add 14 blocks, so I don't have to worry about blocking myself. So I'll just hit him. Just hit him a bunch. There you go. They added 14 blocks. See the enemy's intentions over their heads. Thank you for now telling me, I just figured that out. By selecting it, you can learn even more. When enemies plan to attack, you can use your shield to get block. Block absorbs damage and prevents you from being hurt. So they're gonna do seven damage to me. No, you're not. And then we're gonna do that to take down their shield. Ah! Oh, you're gonna try and use some shield, are ya? No, you're not! We win, we level up. I guess that means our backpack does. Oh, we, we choose four spaces. Let's do this way. And then I think we do, just in case we come across something like big. 
get items. There are so many items and so much to discover. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, even for a backpack hero. If you feel confused, bring up the context menu on an item and choose the option to view card. When viewing a card, you can hover over parts of the card and explanations will appear. Never get confused by a new icon again. Uh, what does this mean? See, I know there'd be something big. I could always move uh, that over here. And add double halber. If there is an adjacent weapon, minus three damage. Ooh. Deals four damage to all enemies. Uh, let's see. Ascetic potion deals 12 damage to all enemies. I think it's destroyed. Only takes up one square. What do we got here? Bronze bless, <laughs> breastplate. Bless, bless plate. Uh, adjacent to uh, adjacent and diagonal armor gets plus two block. Adjacent weapons get plus one damage. Adds two block. It's pretty nice. Fish taste no bad. Um, projectile weapons, which deals six. A knife deals eight damage. Well, oh, you only get three uses out of it though. And that's done. On use, adjacent weapons get plus three damage this turn. And a small key, which is which is just that, a small key. Uh, so we can take three items. I want to take this bronze plus breastplate. He wants a best plate. However, I'm not gonna be able to fit it in here. I gotta move things around to try and get it in there. Can I like? Set it to the side. So if I did that, rotate it so it stays adjacent to it. Oh, uh, we lose out on the meal, which honestly, yeah, I'm okay with that. And then I want to take the key. And should we do the rough? It doesn't cost any energy to use these. Let's do that. Alright, I just choose it. you guys. You're gonna steal 10 gold from me, you jerk? We'll not take any action. This is just a passive thing. Chasing weapon, plus one damage. Each turn it adds two block, which is cool. Uh, adjacent and diagonal armor gets plus two block. So... I'm thinking maybe we should take that guy. We'll not take any action. Cause he's gonna steal gold from me. Like, get this guy out of here. Maybe I'll even throw an acidic potion on him. Just to make sure he doesn't steal my gold. He'll attack. He'll attack again. And once more. And then take that. gonna attack me. I'm gonna do that. Uh, you are almost dead, but you're not gonna take any action, so I don't really care to hit him. He's got the shield on, which we gotta get rid of anyways, so... Get rid of that shield. Enter. Uh, he's gonna do a bomb. We'll self-destruct dealing 26 damage. He's gotta go.
Mia Adams. Oh, we take three. Beasting Blade. Can be used one time each turn. Deals 10 damage. When an item in this column is used, this item is refreshed and can be used again. Oh, cool. So you can like use this, use something else in the same column, and then get to use that again. Toxic Knife. A Spade Cleaver. So many different things. Another Spade Cleaver. Does it do the same stuff? It does. Another small key, a club. I mean, we could replace the wooden sword at some point. And using a club for that doesn't seem like it'd be a bad idea. That's three weak to enemies, plus one to the energy cost for this turn. to get the effect from that too. I don't think I can though. Not this time around. Uh, we'll take a toxic knife. Just a projectile. Should I do this? Every rose has its thorns. Especially this one. Each turn. Oh, it's like an accessory. That's one spike. Do it. Yeah. Alright. Finish choosing. Let's go on. Uh, we can go back and fight these things, too. If I wanted to. Green snow? I think we definitely should. Let's go back and fight these guys. Oh my gosh. What's he got? Angry. When attacked, adds one rage. So, essentially, you kill that guy first is what I'm hearing. Uh, wealthy. When defeated, adds five gold. Alright. This guy's gonna hit for a lot. So, it's like I can up a whole lot. Or I can just like go and swing it. So in total I'm gonna be hitting hit for 14. Just gonna add that. Now I'm gonna get hit for goddamn thing. Uh let's hit this guy. Could also deal four damage to all enemies. Except for that's gonna increase his attack if I do Enter. Uh, he's not gonna do anything. He's gonna attack me for six. He's gonna get that. Okay. I can take him out this turn. So we hit him for ten. Hit him for three. That comes back. I'm not gonna get hit anymore. Attack him for that. Sure I don't take any damage. Uh, let's see. I don't even know how I took damage. I thought I was keeping everything up. Scratch the enemy for three damage, cost one energy. Reorganize your inventory and battle, it costs three energy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Beasting. Yep. Uh, and then to finish him. And that's all we can do. Make it angry all you want. Beasting blade on a bee. Get out of here. Let's get our items. Oh, we didn't level up. Just went straight to items. Heart ring. An accessory adds yeah, five max HP. When removed, it takes away the max HP. Uh, liquid armor. Yes, 25 block gets destroyed once you use. Do we want to lose the spikes or more HP? Part of me says yes. And I don't think about replacing the wooden sword with any of these, so... It's destroyed once it's used. I still think I should keep the key. Nah, we'll finish choosing. Sweaty 
can't get like another option, like take gold instead. Alright, move on. We're gonna fight beets. Oh, green snails. They look like beets to me. They're gonna come at me and uh, try and hit. I'm just gonna add regeneration. Attack me for two. So, do that once. And then we beat up the guy in the front. Do it again. Uh, defeat the guy in the front. And in our turn. He's gonna do nothing, but I'm gonna do something. Woo, level up! Alright. I want the things around that armor opened up so I can move this over there. We get items for winning. Ooh, might be a weapon there to swap with the sword. The only problem is column runs this way. So what I would need to do... I'll reorganize it here in a moment. Let me just see what I got. Uh, spiked helmets. If this item is not in the top row, item is disabled. Each turn it adds three spikes to self and adds one block. It's pretty good. You've seen the heart ring, fire stars, same thing, but it adds burn and damage. Uh, oh, this is what I was gonna look at. Machete! Can be used one time each turn. Deals three damage to all enemies. The cleaver. Deals four damage. How much does this thing do? Eight, because it's next to this. So I want the spiked helmet. The spiked helmet has to go in the first row. Maybe a good thing to do is to do this. No, it's not gonna work unless I put it long ways. Key there. Still giving it that, right? Yeah. Not giving it to the armor, which I didn't do it to begin with for whatever reason. So we'll do it that way, because then this will still get affected to where I can use that and still gets the additional damage. Great. And uh, should I take a, a cleaver? For whatever reason? So I think we should take one of these. I like throw and get destroyed. Event is here, a chest of valuables, uh, enemies there, the dungeon's collapsing here, uh, something to collect is here. Should I just do this so it doesn't collapse? This is heals 5 HP, we'll take it. Let's make a deal! Alright. 
His cock billows as he steps out from the shadows. We can make a trade, you and I. He says you know risks are involved. Uh, get a different item of the same rarity. So I could pick something. So if I didn't want to do a wooden shield, he'd give me something. He takes your item from his cloak and pulls out a replacement. Uh, the dagger, it's only got a limited amount of uses on it. Alright. It has to stay there. We took the risk, we took the chance, we knew that was gonna happen. Now let's go to the chest of battles, maybe we'll find something better. It's a battle! It's a crap battle! Uh, let's go ahead and block so we take no damage. Uh, hit you with that. And, uh, hit you with that. And I still got one energy. Ooh, what gave me energy? And that should in turn. Oh, okay, this has no... That's what it's like. This was, was why. Woo! What is this thing? Items below are disabled for one turn. On take damage. For each item below, you get plus two block. On take damage. Items below are disabled for one turn. A leather cap for each row below, plus one block. So that'd be something that's uh, good to have at the top. We got this, a lizard blade. Costs two energy to use, deals 16 damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I think that can replace this. You know it has zero. So, move that, do that. Uh, do we want to take anything else? Do I want this? Items below are disabled. I damage myself. How much did I damage myself for, though? Can I have more than one helmet armor? Is the other thing. we're gonna need that key for something. That key is just gonna come in handy. Let's leave! The Crypt Font 2 of 3. Ooh. Uh, the donut? A merchant is selling goods here. Gonna be there. And uh, chest of viable items. I say we do these things first and then go check out the merchant. <laughs> The other thing too is that this does two energy now. So like doing that and then this, useless. They're just high damage attacks at this point. Oh no, you just think I still have to do it that way. Next round. Alright, so he's gonna hit me for 11. I do at least need to block once. And then uh, let's let's do a lot of damage to him. Do a lot of damage to him or I could just kill the bee outright. Kill the bee outright! Ha ha! Take that. <laughs> Alright, in my turn. Oh man, he's doing a lot of things. He's gonna hit me for 6, which he's not gonna be able to do. And he's gonna go up. So, hit him with the laser blade, lizard blade. Hit him with that, and then I'm gonna see if next round it will let me use this. We're gonna do a little test. Okay, it does let us use it. Uh, he's gonna do 10 to me, but he's not gonna live long enough to do it. Ha Good items. Um, another key? A small key. That's also a small key. There's a difference? 
Yeah, none of this stuff looks good. It's all good in its own right, but for what I got going on, nothing I need. I would like to level up though. Leveling up would be nice. Uh, there's a chest of items. Should I take the chest of items? Let's go here. Maybe the merchants has something along the lines of... Expanding? No? Rare items? Ooh, look at this legendary jade axe. On sale for 17... It, two. Well, what's the two there, though? Like it costs two gold to use this weapon? Conductivity. On use deals 14 damage. Adjacent weapons get one damage this turn. Pretty cool. It costs gold to use. Uh, we said no to the double halibur. A ladder! On use moves up one space. When this moves, adjacent weapon gets plus six damage this turn. Leather boots. For each row above this, you get plus one block. It's pretty cool. That'd be something just to, like, remove one of these toxic knives out of the way. Warm drink. This is with an empty cup, which that heals us. I say that we get rid of the toxic kunai. I'll sell you that. Oh, leather boots cost you. Ah. I know I get one spike, but I get spikes from this. And something else give me spikes. That's seven spikes at one point. Sell another toxic knife and just move that there. Oh, alright. Uh, the Jade Axe would be really cool to have. I just don't like the fact that it costs two gold to use it. Sure, I think we're gonna pass on it for now. What if I can cut back to this guy later? Let's see what's in the chest. Uh, nothing. Nothing. What are you? Yuppie. On use, it adds one energy and then it gets destroyed. Alright, uh, let's go to the unknown event. What's going on, guy? It's a capybara. You see a wall up ahead and think you need to turn back. Then you realize, it's not a wall, it's a huge rodent, a capybara. Hello, friend, he says. I'm looking for items of this type. Shield. Give shield? Sure, what happens if I give you my shield? He takes your item. That's great, he says. Maybe you want one of these instead. Oh, it's another shield. I give him a shield, he gives me a shield. Happy buckler. Adds five block. Uh, plus one to the energy cost for this combat. Eh. One attack, minus one to the energy cost for this combat. A shove shield, which adds a seven block, pushes frontmost enemy to the back of the group. And then this legendary shield does damage equal to your current block. Deals zero damage. Removes 50% of all block on self. Well, I get all this block from these two things. But it removes block to do damage. That's kind of strange. Adds five block. That's on use too, though. <sighs> I think the shove shield's probably the best option to go with this one, huh? Let's do that. I'll take a shove shield. Because that at least adds some block to it, right? Should I take these things along? Take it along just because? Because it fits. They always go back to the merchant and sell it. Uh, hey! I'm gonna sell you this thing, so I'm not gonna use it, and I'll take the tent. Jade Axe takes a lot. 
could always lose the, uh... No, it was because it cost gold. No. No. Alright, let's move on. Should we go fight a thing? Something to collect is there. Let's go fight this. It's probably gold. Hey! How's it going? Let's see, how much are they doing? 4, 8, 12, and 6. They're doing 18 to me. So I will need one of these. And then we are going to hit the uh, guy in the back. Bam! Enter. We are rush now to clean this item. What? Why? Okay. Uh, let's see. 13. Doing a total of... 20. Do that. Uh, well, I guess I could have played that a little better. Realized that we were going to, uh, destroy this guy. Himself. There we go. We can get items. We can get a tunic. Adjacent and diagonal armor gets plus one block, adds five blocks. So we just get a whole ton of block with, with the tunic. Sapphire. This item floats. Adjacent weapons get plus one in damage. Oh, it floats. I see. This makes sense now. position you're in, so... Yeah. Uh, let's take an acidic potion. Clever kill someone. Your kills it on seven enemy plus one damage this combat. Ooh. Alright, we're done here. Is that torch? That torch is just a background thing. Moving on. It's been 30 minutes to play this. I don't like to go too long. Let's see what this does. Five gold! So you pick and choose which one. You don't want to heal, and I don't want to heal. So we'll just grab this. This has five experience points. Level me up already! Damn you! Let's go fight. What is this Five Nights at Freddy looking guy? Lucky Wraith. Power, windfall, when defeated, it adds great luck. Alright. Just gonna do no actions. Uh, this guy's gonna do 11 damage to me. He's not gonna be able to hurt me, so ha ha! Ha 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 ha! To you! Someone attack me. up here. Done. Good items. Hey, look at that. The Jade Axe. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So that's what the whole luck thing was for, huh? I think we should definitely take that Jade Axe. It just cost two. 
water flask. It's a consumable. It has four uses, adds that energy, and then gets destroyed when we no longer have it. For each column to the right, you get half a block. That's pretty cool. Uh, spike scale is a gem accessory. Adjacent shields get plus one spikes to self. Adjacent weapons get minus one damage. Alright, so keep them far away. That's what I'm here. So there's really no need for this particular ability anymore. I don't want to do. Adjacent and diagonal armors get plus two armor. The shield doesn't count as an armor. This counts as an armor, though. Is it time to reorganize? I think it's time to reorganize. Alright, so we want things revolved around this. Uh, you don't do nearly as much damage anymore. get two of those too. That would just take up so much space. If I did that. Do it that way. There is that as well. This one over here, though. I should still take this. Right there. Matting things from here, not realizing. Oh yeah, no, I still have these. Shield doesn't really do much, so we'll keep the shield over here. But still like max HP. Still feel like we need the key. And the thorns. Alright, we're good where we're at. Take the, uh, the item. And let's continue forward. Leaving, going to the next room. A crypt final. This will make this a, a little extra long video and uh, fight whoever this guy is. Wait a second! I recognize that! It's my mom's lost locket! Man's purse? You couldn't have a clue about where she is! It belongs to your mother, there's something else uh, that happened. King's Thug! This is property of King! Not the king, just king. That's mine! All items in the dungeon belong to him! If you want it, you'll have to fight me for it! That already looks like he's been challenging everybody, he's all beat up. Oh, you're gonna do 10 damage to me? That's what you think? You think you're gonna do 10 damage to me? What's conductivity do? Magic items get mana from mana stones that are adjacent or connected through connectivity items. Alright. So it costs two gold to do that. You can just keep hitting them with his axe and kill them that way too. Uh, bam. Yeah, bam. And then you know what? Let's, let's just finish it. You know what? Let's let you finish you. Ah. <laughs> we win! And we get this, and I have to take it with me because it's got significant use. Let's get rid of the small key. It's gonna be the time then that we're gonna use it because I'm gonna lose it. Logs to your mother. There's something inside it, but only your mother knew how to open it. <laughs> 
Alright, what do we got next? Let's just the valuables! You have a key to open this? Oh, you're so oh my god. Cheese! Golden cheese! It's unique! Sales for 25 extra food in Harvest Sack Hills. Sells for 25 extra treasure in Harvest Sack Hills. Gonna make me take that with me, aren't you? Lose some extra spikes, is that what we're gonna wind up doing? Or lose that extra health? That's really not all that useful. Honestly, the shield, I think, is really not that extra useful, but having the extra shield when needed has come in handy. We'll lose the rose. Take that big old cheese that doesn't fit in one square block. And we will leave! And I think that is going to be a good place to uh, end. We're here in Half Sack Hills. And we're just going to go immediately talk to Lewis over here. But we're not going to continue from this point. This is actually where we're going to stop. But this does look like to be another portion of the game itself. Uh, where it goes into a little RPG kind of questy thingy. Which looks cool to me, anyways. But yeah. What do I think of the game? I think it's great. I like the game. The organizing can be a tad bit slow. Of course, that's me, who's the slow one here, because I feel the need that I have to read everything. Uh, taking time to reorganize your items and place them in quite a way to where it synergizes with everything that you have. I like it when a game makes you think and do things like that because it gives you like another variable when it comes to playing the game instead of just grabbing a bunch of random stuff and throwing it in you actually have to take the time out to think about where you're gonna place it and even the order of how you play it in case for that like B sword that we had we had to swing with that first and then our wooden sword and then go back and use it again to get like the most damage output that there was but uh, I just went ridiculous with armor at some point, and that, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, would I play the game again? Absolutely, I would play this game again. I do enjoy me some roguelikes, and uh, would not mind putting it into my rotation. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to continue playing this after this video. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.